Are you ready for a scary amount of aliens? That's what we're supposed to expect, right? I'm not medical. Did you manage to get to comms? I'm here. Perhaps too late. A column's recovered from the reactor purge and knocked out external comms again. Damn it. So why'd you send me here? Plan B, Rip. See, before I left, the system showed a ship approaching Sevastopol. I think it's the Inusadora. Marlow managed to send out his auto codes to call it in while comms were temporarily open. I've got to get to it. Is it docking? No, but it's in a holding position nearby. Head for the ambulance bay. The shuttle's are really short range, but they'll make it. Got it. Oh, that's the alien. Presumably. So where are we going from here? Opposite direction, cool. So back this way. Should be an elevator, so if I get there, we're free, I believe. We just have to make it to that spot. By the way, that guy's living for way longer than I thought he was going to. But yeah, we're back to having to worry about... Alien stealth. Is it going to pop out right here? Just got to head this way. But yeah, now, after several chapters of androids only... Did we even fight humans in those chapters? Uh, aliens are back. Way more, way more, way more dangerous. <laughs> androids you can run away from. It's most, they're mostly almost, they're almost a little comical. But in, in large groups they're scarier. Or at least, they're not, not, not scary, they're more problematic. But even then I could run in circles infinitely and kind of loop them around like I was doing for a bit until I miscalculated where I was going to go. Like order of operation style in the level. So this is the level that was, that's the door that was locked for a long time and I opened it, opened it only recently I believe. Because I went to the right originally and then that took me to the first alien encounter in the game I think. Not counting the cutscene. The first time I was like trapped with an alien. There's still stuff I haven't picked up, huh? I am pretty good on crafting stuff right now. We'll stick with the flamethrower for now. Most other enemies would give will give me time to switch to what I need, but the flamethrower is good for the surprise alien show up. So far, no, no motion. Still, now that aliens are back in the game, I'm still afraid of standing up ever. The way the game handles noise is really repressive against ever standing up straight in this game, unless you're really just gonna sprint for your life. Is that where I found the Nostromo recording? Hello. There we go, that's a little something. For a moment there I was like, why am I looking around for stuff if my inventory is full? But there's still a chance of getting flamer ammo, which I believe is kind of randomly distributed. And maybe I could have been so lucky as to find, uh... I mean, I ended up finding scrap, so that's fine. The one thing I wasn't done with. Surprised I didn't get attacked yet. Okay. No alien sighting yet. We'll see how long that lasts. But yeah, now the aliens are back. It's hard, hard uh, really, like, hardcore stealth mode's back. For a long time there, we were just with androids, and I was like, Oh yeah, I'll, I'll stand up. Who cares? It was oddly liberating. Oh. Hi. Where are we? Do I recognize this spot? Where is this? From my terminal. Marlo's only taken one of the shuttles. Is this where I got ambushed by an alien and I climbed up a ladder to escape? Yeah, that ladder over there. Oh yeah. I remember you. Climbed up the ladder to escape, went over there the first time the first time I tried to play level, I ran around to the back and I uh I opened an audio log. I was like, look, there's sto story back here. I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go though. And then I died of smoke inhalation, presumably. And then the next time I came in, there was clearly a ladder in front of me. I'm like, oh. Oh. I found the equivalent of a secret, didn't I? Or at least I sure as hell didn't go the right way. A little more scrap for me. Oh, we gotta go for a way, a way, a ways, a ways, a ways. Okay. Yeah, I remember dealing with the alien a lot in this chamber. I think? Oh god, this is THE location where the chamber- This is the number one location where the aliens really, like, pestered me and I could not move around properly. Because we were in here, and I was going around here, this is where that one fire explosion would happen. And I was constantly in this locker by this save point, because I would like, go around here, save point, okay. Go over here, ah, back to the save point. Like, I kept going back to the save point after each objective just to save progress, because it was the most desperate chunk of the game so far, I think. Same thing kind of happened here, there was a locker in this middle room, and I kept getting stuck there. 
Then I finally got to this power plant, which is where not, there was just like the one room where the alien wouldn't attack me. But then I eventually got away by literally just sprinting down this path, I want to say. Like I just sp sprinted out of the entire level to get exactly where I am, which triggered that cutscene of the alien explosion. So we had long periods, in particular of me hiding right here behind the bed of in the hospital because the alien kept going back and forth like a bastard down this hallway. I'm like, go anywhere else, you son of a bitch. Those were, those were some long waits. Yeah, I would say that this, this level is probably the single place in the game where I was most exasperated by alien interactions because he just won't go away sometimes. And there's not a lot of options as far as travel directions go here. They, so the alien's nearby, but I don't see any events for him to hop down. We'll just hope for the best, right? And I've got a flamethrower, so that helps, but I want to save that as long as I can. Because you never know how frequent uh, alien flamethrower ammo is going to turn out to be. How do I get over there? There must be a door over there that opens now. Find an ambulance craft in the San Cristobal Medical Emergency Bay. There must be like a doorway over there I don't necessarily know about already. So I take it these are the guys that... Those must be the humans that were here when everything was going bad that fought. Does this door work? It probably doesn't work, that'd be too easy, right? So they break it. Of course they do. Okay. Okay, sure. Please... Please no Xenomorph for a while. This is me hunkering down in an attempt to maybe finish the entire game in one day. The rest of the game, obviously, not the entire game. That doesn't make any sense. Where am I? I've never been here before. But I know I'm nearing the final mission, because this is mission 15. Didn't check the name this time. And I believe there's 19? So we're slowly getting there. What's your deal? You let me into this chamber, which is a MRI, I think. Was this chamber unavailable before, or have I just never come here because reasons? Both are possible. There's a vent in the middle of this room, which builds poorly for my chances of uh, stealth. I can hear him nearby. If he popped out of that top, that top vent directly above me, I'd be completely screwed. Yep. There's nowhere to go in that room. How many side paths are there? There's, I've been there before. Just gotta keep hoping for the best. It's like he's following me. He always sounds like he's behind me. Hello. Spoopy. Ooh, nice. Always good to get a stun baton charge. Uh, so over here to the left is where I was that whole time when I was getting stuck for a while. Uh, you know what, I'll... Fuck me. I should not be running right now, first of all. That's terrible for the whole alien situation. But if I'm gonna see a threat, I'm at least gonna pause my progress here. So I don't straight up have to redo everything I just did. Okay, uh, what was the gun called? Shit. Bolt gun. No, sure, you'll get me. No big deal. Oh, that was the right call. Ooh. I forgot the hotkeys for leaning back because I haven't had to do it, do it in so long. Shit. He's leaving. It's like hold, it's like S and right bumper. I don't really remember, it's been a long time. Ooh. 
first appearance of the alien in this level. Shit. Is he coming straight to me? Uh-huh. Just like old times, huh, guys? <laughs> it's the locker. Literally the locker I spent the most time in, and the moment I came here, I was like, I'm probably gonna get trapped in the locker, aren't I? But hey, I got a bunch of loot, so it's good to save that. Just gotta get down there to the side. Now that he's alerted, that doesn't... Doesn't bode super well for me. Did he go in a vent or not? Oh, is he coming back now? Really wish I could turn slightly to the left. It's getting faster. So he's probably coming closer again. So that was probably my chance. I thought he was still nearby, but standing, because I didn't hear him leave through a vent or anything. Oh, there he is ahead of me now. <laughs> I see you back there, buddy. That's a good sign. That's honestly often the best sign I'm gonna get, is that, hey, he went in the vent for a second. Sometimes that means I'm good to go. Flamethrower, quickly, quickly, there we go. Shit. I think he's coming. Whoo! He dropped down probably somewhere over here, and I just got around the corner before he could have spotted me, I think. This is... I'm hoping that all the noise happening in the ambience decked... I'm hoping that all counts towards me not getting spotted, but I have no idea. Who? Where the fuck is he? That's, he's gonna come around the corner, isn't he? <laughs> I don't know if there's anything useful in this room or not. It, I don't think this room was opened before. I think it's unlocked new. Like, that's new. Damn. No fire used yet. I'm surprised by that. Uh, oh. Is he going to look at the window? Wow. I'll call that lucky. How in the hell? Now where is he? He sounds behind me. Oh, did they block this door? I'm obviously being way... cockier right now than normal because of the fact that I know... I've got some defense against him when we didn't before. Whew. Oh, there we go. The map revealed that to us. So just go left and there's a door here. If I don't get caught. Wow. This has been shockingly peaceful so far. All things considered. Well, I did shoot a robot in the head. So, already one kill, technically. But the alien didn't even see me yet. Ooh. Can a brother get a save point, please? No? No beeps is good. No beeps is usually pretty good. Just looking around for stuff. Hello. Oh, upgrade. Hello. Tuner access three. Is that going to be the last one? Rule of threes. Does that apply again? I would. I would expect it. Perhaps. Options are left and right. Oh, so the right is my r r real goal here. That's a dead end. Yep. Just gotta hope I can get through this door before I get attacked. Come on. We're in the money. Uh, uh, what is that? Oh, that, that one, yes. That one. That one. That, oh, that's a bad sound. That's a bad sound. Well, I think I almost ran out of time there. You don't have 
This one's a little, it's a little tough now. Coordinates already in the system. Just punch the dash. What about you? I'm surprised he's still alive. He's been alive for a long time. How do I... There we go. He just seems like he'd be dead any moment now. He must just serve a purpose in the story still. No deaths! Hey! That's not bad. I think. Oh, there's space. I was like, where's space? <laughs> Couldn't tell if I was supposed to be able to see something or not. I don't have to control this, right? It's just autopilot. Yeah, he said punch the coordinates in. Autopilot go! Oh, loading screen. And now we are somewhere else. Could this be a place that has no aliens? Where am I? I'm on the Anisidora. Can this have enemies on it? Ricardo, can you hear me? Okay, so we're in new territory now. We've been going around the same ship over and over again this whole game, but this is different. Not sure what to make of this one. So this, it's not the Torrens, so it's got to be the ship that the uh, people that we temporarily cut away from to discover the aliens with midway through the game, right before we got the flamethrower. That it must have been. The, it must have been their ship. I don't necessarily remember the name, but I assume it's this. I assume that this is the ship of the people who got face hugged first and kind of ruined everything. Yay! Discovery caused death. So I need to bring the systems back online. The big question, of course, is whether or not there's actually aliens on this ship. Are we in danger? Are there androids on the- there couldn't be androids on the ship, right, if it's not attached? Uh... Oh, uh, those are just machines. Pretty sure these are machines were specifically designed to look like the silhouette of an alien just to screw with you when you first come on here. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's silly. You're just screwing with me, game developers. It looks like a motorcycle engine or some nonsense, but like... The side, the side profile is so distinctly the Xenomorph profile. It's like they're just screwing with you now, because of course you're going to be wondering whether or not they're on the ship or not. And they're like, haha! Didn't think they'd be here, did you? Yeah, I don't know what to expect here. It's a very different ship. It's all nasty. I mean, it's a ship in general. It's, it's as opposed to the space station we were just on. But even uh, the Nostromo like ship we had was very clean by comparison. Think we may have broken our losing streak. We've barely been scraping a living the past couple of years, and the Anisadora is starting to look like the wrecks we salvage. Can't say the crew's been faring any better. Then we found that flight recorder. It belongs to a ship, an Astromo, Wayland Utani property. That means there'll be a reward. But then Marlowe had an even better idea. Extrapolate the path of the flight recorder to try to find the wreck of the Nostromo. We got lucky. Found a distress signal, and now we're following it. This is it. I can feel it in my bones. He always said he'd do right by me. No motion tracker sounds yet. I think this might be an alien-free space. That's a good sign for us. The moment we get the moment we get it established that this place is covered in aliens, we leave the area covered in aliens. I mean, it's logical, it's just I don't expect the game to give me that kind of courtesy. <laughs> Signal detected. Marlow. Hey, uh, Heist says he's p picked up some kind of signal. I've got Lewis trying to decode it now. Could be the Nostroma. Nostromo, want to, uh, come up and see for yourself? Technician's report. Something, 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 numbers. <laughs> Marlow. I just had to do some much-needed work on the mu on the sublight engines. 
The old girl was complaining so loudly, I'm surprised something didn't fall off during the last jump. Everything's holding together for now, but she'll need a full overhaul soon, and not just the core systems. We keep pushing her like this, and we're going to end up being the only salvage crew hitchhiking through deep space. It's going to be an expensive job, so let's hope we're right, uh, you're right about the beacon. It could be your last chance for a decent paycheck. Anyway, I had to reset the door key code afterwards. The new one is 4510. Lewis. We're outside Sevastopol. Milo and Foster woke up first. She looked terrible. Meeks and me are about to take a shuttle to the station. But well, this has got to break quarantine procedures, right? It's Milo's ship. She's Milo's wife. And things got heated. And Meeks got a bloody nose. So, I don't know. Maybe the doctors will give her the all clear and things can get to normal. But if they sniff it out when we get on board, I don't want any part of it. Marlo doesn't pay nearly enough for that kind of noise. All right, flamer and shotgun fuel. Happy to find that. We're at, we have well over 400 now. I guess this must be where the code goes. 45, 10. No motion yet. I'm still listening for that beep that indicates something has entered range. Because I'll be ready for it, I hope. All right. Maybe it's just a sort of a story level. We'll see, I guess. All right, well, we're supposed to get this everything back on board, so let's do this. We gotta be on, this has to be why we're here. Come on. I'll mash the crap- I'll mash the crap out of your E. You can't tell me what to do. This is where something just shows up and eats me midway through the sequence. Surprise! Loud noises make me nervous. They tend to lure aliens. I don't like it. If nothing else, this can't have this can't have androids on it. At least not the androids that are corrupted by Wayland Yutani. We've established that the crazy robots are because of Wayland Yutani, and the ship. If any androids were on this ship, they wouldn't have that. They're like an independent. They're, they're like an independent salvage crew that just tries to sell stuff. I think. All right. Good luck, me. What? I haven't seen this one for a long time. They really like the match the pattern button uh, puzzle. To the, po to the point where I forget the other ones exist until they show up again. I'm a little worried about you. I'm gonna crouch over here. This is where somebody shouts, HANG ON TO SOMETHING! If I wasn't completely alone this whole game. Do I press you now? No? Is that good? I think we're good. Okay. Ricardo, in case you're hearing me, we've got the human school as basic power systems back online. The door should be open. Hopefully it's in light. Still no sign of Marla. Can we just stay on here forever? Hey, Ripley. Welcome to the Anisadora. Marlo? Where are you, Marlo? Thanks for switching the power back on. You saved me a job. I only needed it offline temporarily. I had some things to fix. That, that could have been really bad news if he was still in the middle of whatever repairs or alterations he was doing and we switched on the power in the middle of that. Like, he could have been totally fried or something horrible could have happened. That would have been a surprise end for him. Oh, there's no door over here. Yeah, I'm just going to walk around now. I think it's safe to say this seems to be a story mission. We're on a separate place where there shouldn't be any humans or androids or aliens around. It should be our best hope at escaping, but this place seems to be a mess. And I get the feeling that something's going to happen that makes us not escape on this thing. Because it feels like the game's not ready to end yet, is it? And frankly, this entire game has been a chronicle of Ripley's failures. <laughs> Maybe this will save, save us, no. Maybe this will save us, no. Maybe this will save us, no. Spots. 
Taylor? Taylor! Marlo, what are you doing? What no one else seems prepared to do. Come find me, Ripley. I got something for you. Okay, back to crouching. Surprise alien attack, jeez. So... Don't know if there's any... Xenomorphs around, but that was a... That there, that there was a face hugger. That's a bad sign in general. Is it just a radio? Okay. No motion trackers yet, and Marlo's over there, so maybe it's not too bad? That could have been like one weird standalone jump scare just to make it so this place doesn't feel completely safe. Maybe. Maybe! Sevastopol, log four. Blah blah blah, numbers, stuff. Uh, whatever it was that attached itself to Foster is dead. I found on the floor up by her bed, all curled up like a spider. Foster said she felt fine, but I insisted on putting her into hypersleep. That thing must be done. Must have done something to her, but maybe I can slow the process. Sevastopol's the nearest station, so I'm going to get her checked out. Quarantine will be a problem, but I figure the Nostromo flight recorder may be the ticket in. Whatever we have to do. Oh, I didn't realize that was the context for all this. That changes the story a little bit. I just kind of assumed automatically that the alien ship was somewhere nearby the, on the planet. But that doesn't make sense, I guess, because the planet down there is a gas giant anyway. The one that we see that we're orbiting right now in the, with uh, Sevastopol. So, they were completely out on their own, and completely unattached in any way to Sevastopol at the moment. They made their discovery, the bad thing happened, and they desperately fled to, back to their ship. They put her in cryo, and then they just looked up the nearest station, which happened to be Sevastopol. And then everything got set in motion. This was the decision that led to this game happening, more or less. Because once the once they report the flight recorder, that means that that my character is going in, and uh, once they go to Sebastopol with the alien, they're triggering the deaths of everyone on the entire space station. And it just and it's Dora Hale. Uh, sure. Maybe do that after before the utility. Just in case. Oh, there's no utility. Okay. Anisadora, this is Marshal Waits of Sebastopol. Officially, I should deny your request to dock. Sebastopol is currently being decommissioned, and I can't compromise security for unscheduled vessels. However, in the light of the property you found, I will allow a small number of your crew to dock via a short-range shuttle. I must remind you that Sebastopol is entitled to a cut of any reward for return of said property once it's on station. Let me know your decision. Wait's up. So they want to take the flight recorder, as, you, as expected. And hearing about it is the only way they got on, because it was de being decommissioned. So many incredibly specific conditions happened to get this to here. That's a sealed vent. I have never seen a sealed vent in this game. That's freaky. It feels so... Dare I say it? Alien. <laughs> As I press the light button, lights come on. But not the one that I, I thought the button controlled. <laughs> That's not my flashlight. Do we have any backup scrap to do real quick? Because I finally filled up in scrap again, so just double checking. Alright, we'll just continue along the path. They just had to throw me a face hugger right when, right when I decided to start walking normally. Whoa. That could be bad. I sure hope that's not a surprise. I tried to save Foster. Brought him to the bad pole. Broke all the rules, getting her short. That was stupid, Ed. Stupid. You don't beat this thing, Ripley. You can't. All you can do is refuse to engage. You gotta wipe out every trace, destroy any clue, stop its infection from spreading. Make sure there's no chance of the human race ever making contact with it again. Because the moment it makes contact, it's won. The company's never gonna know what happened here. Nobody is. I won't allow it. There's some dark territory. So he's talking... I keep saying that phrase now, it's a problem. So he's talking about wiping everything out. Which is exactly what Ripley tried to do when she... when she, uh, chose to blow up the ship. The other Ripley, not my Ripley. The original Ripley. Well, probably not the original Ripley. The Ripley from the movie. It was probably Ripley's before her, because that's how uh, names work. <laughs> I 
I am not pleased by the sight of an open vent at all, by the way. Still no motion so far, so I'm assuming... I feel like I would have no I would have had some evidence of a xenomorph by now if there's a single one on the ship. But the, uh... Facehugger is still a problem. Gotta take it slow just to not be surprised by those. So those little bastards is quick. What a cool location. So there's the cryopods. That's where, One of those would have been where she was kept. Right before she got everybody killed by having to have her chest explode. God, what a klutz. And go. Thank you. What a weirdly organic wall. The pipes bend in such a weird way, like there's a heart in the middle of it. It looks bizarre. It's apparently freezing in here. If you look at if you go by the uh these pipes we're looking at here. Look at that. It's all caked and ice. That's I feel like Arnold Schwarzenegger's gonna pop in and go chill out. Well, that's familiar. It's like when our friend went to that that uh, MRI machine, and that was not an MRI machine. And I had to do a bunch of those things to make him not to be dead, but then he was dead. So I'm sure I'll be just as successful this time, huh? Hi. Dramatic room. Flight recorder data, that's a big deal. That's the whole reason I'm here. Is that the real deal? Did they... Did they give... Did they hand in corrupt and broken flight recorder data when we got here? I, I mean, to Sevastopol and keep the real stuff for themselves? Is that what's going to happen here? In this terminal... Alright, yeah, I think that's the big catalyst for this. This thing. Light doesn't illuminate much through the glass. Well, let's find out, huh? report personal message this is for my daughter hi Amanda I'm recording this for you my sweetheart and I hope you get to hear it one day you see I um I got into trouble um my ship there was an accident sweetheart and um we found an alien creature. It was very dangerous. And the only way we could stop it was to destroy the ship. Uh, I'm okay. I'm stuck on this lifeboat, long way out. But we had to destroy the ship. We had to destroy the Nostromo. We just couldn't risk bringing that thing home with us. I needed to protect you. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. I'm sure I'll see you very soon. I love you, sweetheart. the right call, technically. Listen to me! We don't have to do this! Stop! Stop it, mother! Marlo, please. You heard what your mother did. She understood it. She was here. She'd be helping me. You think she would want company suits on the zip code of that creature? No one must know. Stop the 
overload. You have to help me. Go to that console. Warning. Fusion reactor overload in progress. Open the fusion system so I can work on them. What? I need power sent to the auxiliary generator. Look for the letters A-U-X. I'm sorry, where are the fusion systems? Are they in here? They seem to be right over there, yeah. Is he dead? He just got hit by a fire extinguisher on the head. He's probably knocked out. I mean, I feel like we're all gonna die here, but, well, I feel like she's gonna die here. Oh, this one. Crap. Missed one. Come on. There we go. <laughs> there's, never, there's a weird lack of a sound for pressing that button. You're doing good, Jalen. Now switch the maintenance terminal from auto to manual. Do you see it? It'll be there, Taylor. Trust me. That's it. Here we go. Just keep this going. Ah. I don't know if there's a real time limit or if it's just rising audio to make me feel tense or not. But I feel like I lost time when I didn't notice that thing in time. Which is probably not a good sign. <laughs> On. That's probably good. Should probably get away from that. You should probably get away from that. You should get away from that. Get away from that. Get away from that. Go out the door. What, what door do you use to get in there? Get out. Go through that. <laughs> oh. Well. All right. Well, that's that. That's that. Uh, we're running out of characters. I, I, get, I take it there's no alien on the ship, huh? Uh-huh. Ah. No. Stop it. Okay. So everyone's dying one by one. There goes both the people that came to the ship, and here goes the ship. Kind of figured the ship would be dead, but I didn't know. But I didn't know what would happen to everybody else. I figured something would just not work on it. Uh, 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 that this way? No, that, that you did. Okay, that way. <laughs> Couldn't tell for sure for a second. Nope. Nope. Run better. Uh oh. Okay, that's not what I expected. Hi. We don't need gravity where we're going. Um, space shoot? No? Yes? Okay. This way. Let's keep picking directions to run and I don't need no map. Ah. Okay. God damn it, Marlo. Important thing about first Ripley recording. Uh, she had an escape plan. She wasn't just like, I'm gonna blow this all up. And that's it. She's like, I'm gonna blow this up and get in this, life in this lifeboat. But he's like, screw that. I'm just gonna suicide all up in here and not develop any plan. If there was an alien on the ship, it'd probably be losing its mind, considering how it reacts to fire. <laughs>